There's no rule book that you read. There's no PDF that you download online that says, oh, well, first you gotta do that. When, when starting a jewelry business or when starting a brand that includes both jewelry and clothing, first you do this, then you do this, make sure you look out for this, make sure this is covered. Like, it's all just learned on the go. I'm gonna try to do is document the process that goes into figuring out, packaging all this stuff up, getting it ready for the release because there's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes and I think some people might find it interesting. I'm just sitting here working out of my bedroom, which serves as like my warehouse for right now. I mean, eventually, relatively soon, we're gonna have to <clears throat> get bigger space. But I'll show you, like I'm pre-packing some four packs right now. We're on my bed. It's 857, chain two, chain three, chain four, chain, all go into the four packs. This isn't all of them. I just break it out in groups of 10, like as we go. And then we fill up these kind of containers. Uh, with the finished product so that like picking and packing it is just easier to do. One day, I'll probably look back on this type of um, documentation of the process and be like, wow. Like, I remember when we first started Minted, I was still at home because of COVID, um, hanging out with my parents. We started it there. First 15 orders we did, didn't have this, didn't have this packaging, didn't have really a process the entire process has kind of been refined as we go and for the most part it's trial and error you know there's no rule book that you read there's no pdf that you download online that says oh well first you got to do that when, when starting a jewelry business or when starting a brand that includes both jewelry and clothing first you do this then you do this make sure you look out for this make sure this is covered like it's all just learned on the go remember we did 15 orders and i was like holy cow now you know, with this release, multitudes more than that. I guess a testament to brand and the quality being put out. Really, it's more about the community because it's you guys to buy it. Let's go take a look at my part-time employee. We hit the point where right now, like handwritten letters that I put in every order are taking up so much of my time. So I'm actually mailing my mom a bunch so that she can write some. I can't keep up with it. So she offered to write some. Some of you will be getting a letter written from my mother. It's Wednesday. The room is a mess. I just putting together another shelf for storage because we got a lot of stuff. Let's take a little peek. Let's take a little peek around here. Let's show you what I'm working with. Boxes which contain boxes. Hey, what is this? Oh, what is that? Hey, what's this guy over here? What are you doing in there? Gotta go pick up the hats from the embroidery place. It's scorching hot out here. Finalizing inventory. The, the biggest thing that I struggle with is maintaining inventory numbers, keeping the back end of the website up to date. All of the small things that add up that you don't even think about cause me a lot of stress. But I think we're good to go. The email goes out to the email subscribers here, you know, close to 11. Really excited to see how this is gonna go. I think we're closing in on a lot of like personal goals that I set for myself when starting a business, I guess. Currently have the gold four pack on. I think it looks great. Um, would really like to get the gold wishbone pendant made so I can add it to the to the collection. There really is nothing like taking it all the way down to the wire and still updating the website eight minutes before launch. It's 10:52, and I'm I'm catching last minute things that I have to change. Watch watching this unfold is just one of the craziest experiences of my entire life. That's all I keep thinking about is packing. Like. We got a lot of packing to do. 30 minutes in, 90% sold out. My Jeffrey Bezos, I'm coming for you mentality with the shipping. So it's like 5.15 p.m. ish. Insane numbers today. Sold out of a lot of stuff. I didn't go to the gym this morning because getting stuff ready, pre-packing. Wow, my hair. Um, so I'm going to run and go to the gym now before I get started on anything else because I just feel like I have to. Almost midnight and I'm like halfway through the orders. Need to get sleep, I've been up since 3.30, so I need to at least sleep till like five. The platform that I use, Pirate Ship, to buy the labels uh, at a discounted rate for like volume shipping, 
blocked my account. I think because of how many thousands of dollars were charged in shipping fees yesterday. So they don't have customer service until 10 a.m. And right now I have so many orders to pack still and I'm gonna lose my mind, so I'm going for a walk. Back in the U-Hop, boys. It's also pouring rain. What a mess. I'm trying so hard to get all these out the next day. Saturday, where are all you people going? Where are you going? Out of the way. Got it done. Oh my gosh, 3.49 p.m. Closes at four. We made it. It's been a hustle, I'll tell you what. I need some sleep and I haven't eaten today.